Very good evening, my friends. How are you? Hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new midweek analysis video from Extreme Trader. This is Stella speaking. So actually, I need to rush to make this video because some of the pairs um, has already been triggered. Uh, but actually, the market uh, seems to be moving a little bit farther than what I have expected. So uh, let's begin with the Euro USD. So right now for the Euro USD, as we can see, uh, the sell order has been triggered. And right now, uh, Euro USD is going in about seven pips of loss. However, uh, if we look carefully at the Euro USD, some changes has happened. For example, if we look here, if we see right here, we have here a resistance and right here also we are having two attempts of another resistance. And if we check carefully, we can see that this was actually a resistance trend line that has, had, had, that has recently been broken out from. That means that the Euro USD most likely is going to actually continue the rise until it reaches that resistance right here on 1.19905 before it's, uh, it's going to continue the fall. This is what happens when actually we're having here a resistance trend line like that. And you see the strong bullish breakout happens out of that resistance trend line. What's going to happen next is actually the, the pair is going to continue the rise till it hit the next key resistance level or the ne nearest key resistance level to the pair. And after that, the pair actually going to fall and retesting the broken resistance trend line before either continue the rise or falling more. That being said, we actually have to wait for the Euro USD to rise for another 30 pips at least before we can start shorting it. So therefore, uh, please, if you have any, if you have opened any short orders for the Euro USD, please uh, stop them right now. Or uh, you can just keep the trade running and just uh, wait for the right moment for the short to uh, or for the pair to continue the fall. So let me just fix it exactly like that this is the safe zone it's going to be above the resistance level and we're going to start shorting the euro usd right here exactly from the resistance at 1.19 the 19800 uh, there goes the euro new signal for the euro usd and i believe this one is going to work out very well and bring us lots of profits let's check the pound usd pound usd as we can see has actually fallen exactly from the from the level where i have mentioned to start shorting and in general, the pound USD has went in about 70 pips of profit. So, sorry, 60 pips of profit. But what's happening right now is that the, 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 the pound um, is getting some strength. Meanwhile, the USD is uh, weakening right now. But however, that's not going to last for a long time. Um, the, trade is, the trade actually can still be triggered because if I'm not mistaken, the new level where the, Euro, sorry, the pound USD is actually going to fall um, we, it's going to be on 1.3775. The reason of that, if we look carefully right here, we can see that right here exactly laying the strong or the, the previous strong key support level. And by looking at this pair right here, we can see that the, uh, the pound USD has, has actually made uh, one attempt, two attempts, and right now is on the way to create a third attempt to break out from that resistance. Not only that, but if we look carefully at this resistance uh, support trend line that I have drawn here, we can notice that right here exactly, if, if we draw it exactly like that, we can see that the pair is right now retesting that broken support trend line. Most likely it's going to return as a resistance trend line and most likely the pair is going to continue the fall. That being said, um, if in case you didn't enter this uh, signal yet, please wait and just enter it at the right moment. And if in case you have entered the signal already, uh, then please uh, hold your position and just wait for a few pips because as I said the pair is actually going to continue the fall eventually We have to wait for the pound you see to rise for another 21 pips only before it's actually gonna continue the fall if I'm not mistaken So therefore for those who haven't entered the signal yet the new level to start shorting the pound USD is going to be 1.377081 There goes your signal for the pound USD and I hope it's gonna work very well for us also and bring us lots of profits. Let's take a look at the AUD USD. Now, very similar to the uh, pound USD, the AUD USD. Let me just check if it has fallen. No, not yet. It's ac it's actually actually right now approaching the sell level, and it's gonna hit it after about eight pips. However, let me just update this signal because most likely the the AUD USD is actually gonna continue the rise till it hit the peak so the peak of the resistance right here exactly at 0 0.76737 means. We have to wait for the AU, for the AUD USD to rise for another 27 pips we can, before we can actually start shorting it. So let me just adjust uh, the signal and adjust the safe zone area. 
and therefore here also we can adjust the entry level which is going to be right now 0 0.76737 correct seven six seven three seven yes right and of course we can keep the same take profit level so uh, again hopefully it's gonna work very well and bring us lots of profits usd cad now regarding the usd cad actually i have given it a lot of thoughts and as we can see right here the usd cad has actually uh, risen all the way already and already reached the take profit level but however look at that strong t uh, wick right here it is indicating a strength in the level and the market actually has refused uh, any attempt to break out from that strong resistance zone right here indicates that the usd cad is actually gonna continue the fall so therefore the buy signal is no longer valid uh, let me just change it right now and let's see what is the, the, next, the next signal the next signal is gonna be now actually one of the tricks if you want to know where you can start short uh, the pair or, or or buying also you need to look for the strong key support levels or the strong key resistance levels so if i look here at the chart on the four hour time frame we can notice that right here exactly we had here a strong key resistance level which has become also previously a, a support for several times however must uh, what happened recently that the market actually has made this is this very strong bearish candle and if i'm not mistaken right now the usd cad is actually facing this support zone and right here the pair is actually going to make a pullback and this previous resistance right here is going to be respected again and the pair is actually going to become another resistance and most likely after all these uh, attempts of 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 the break of breaking out from that resistance the pair is actually going to continue the fall all the way to the level where we where, where actually we have mentioned to start buying the pair so the previous buy order now right now is going to become the take profit means we have to wait for the pair to rise for another 30 pips be before we can start actually shorting it so let me just adjust the, se the signal to be short right now for the USD CAD at 1.25644. And let me just uh, move this the safe zone to be exactly right here. As you can see, guys, I'm in hurry because actually I really need to upload this video very quickly and get rid of it because I don't want anyone to, lo to lose any money because of my advices. And I want everyone to get the best of uh, the best signals um, possible. So this, this previous support right here is going to be our take profit level, means we are actually looking for about 120 pips profit from this signal. So the take profit level is going to be 1.24421. There goes your signal for the USD CAD and hopefully also it will work very well and bring us lots of profits. USDGPY. The USDGPY actually has fallen below the entry level and so far going in 22 pips of loss. However, those who have entered this signal, I would advise you to please hold your positions because most likely the UCGPY is actually going to continue the fall in few uh, after a few hours. If we look carefully right here, we can see that right here. Let me just move to the daily chart. So on the daily chart, we can see this strong bullish candle and this these three candles. Guys, remember, I'm on the on the daily chart right now. These three candles right here represents a strong resistance level. And we can see that the same level has been respected pre previously right here also on 108.888. So most likely the USD, the USD GPY is actually going to continue the fall for another 17 pips only before it's actually going to con uh, continue the rise or before it reverses actually. So if we look carefully also on the four hour time frame right now, right here, we are having a strong support level. So after this strong bullish candle has appeared, most likely this support level is going to be respected again. And the USDC GPY is actually going to continue the rise immediately right after hitting that previous support. So therefore, the buy signal for the USD GPY is going to be changed to be 108.888. And let me just um, move this one right here exactly like this. And this one, move it right here also. And of course, I apologize for any inconvenience happened, but uh, we don't control the market, my friends. That's why I'm just making this uh, video very quickly. We need to actually um, follow up the market and see what's happening and just, you know, um, update you and hopefully I can uh, catch up and just send you the signals as soon as possible. So the target now is going to be changed to be 109.962. 
because actually right now we are going to be aiming the peak of the resistance right here on 109.962 so there goes your signal for the USDGPY and hopefully also it will work very well and bring us lots of profits USDCHF the USDCHF right now as you can see is still falling but however not for so long because if we look carefully here at the left we can see that right here the, uh, lays the bottom of this strong support level of this very strong key support level and the same level has been respected all the time it has become a resistance right here a resistance right here and a resistance right here so most likely once the pair touches that level exactly the pair is actually going to start the reversal and the pair is going to be valid for the buy immediately once it touches the level of um, 0 0.91790 uh, sorry 90 that being said the signal for the UCCHF is going to be adjusted just to be exactly um, one second to be exactly right here yes just like that perfect uh, not perfect hold on one second so I just had to do it uh, faster and just finish it because it took some time. So there goes your signal for the USDCHF and hopefully also it will work very well and bring us lots of profits. For the gold, let's now discuss the gold. Let me just delete the old signal. Now, from my point of view, the gold in general is going to continue the rise. Let me just make a short story. Now, let me just explain to you something. If we go to the four hour time frame, look at that here we had a very strong support zone which i have been talking about for a few weeks and i told you that once the us once the gold touches that strong support level is going to be valid for the buy sadly the, the pair actually has started the rise before it touches our sell level and once it has entered the zone here of the support immediate look at that look at that strong bullish candle it's indicating a very strength strength in the level right here and most likely uh, the gold actually was seen to be good for the short but not for the for, not for a long time because this strong candle right here indicates a rejection in breaking out from that level if i'm not mistaken and from my point of view the gold is going to rise until uh, hitting the level 1800 1800 is actually going to be our target in on the long run on the long run but however what we can do right now with the gold now if we look carefully after the appearance of this strong bullish breakout candle we need to look at the support level and it clearly lays exactly right here if we look carefully also my friends we can see that this level was previously a strong key resistance level for several times and several times more times as we can see so this level cannot be simply ignored 1736 is going to be a good level to start again buying the gold and our safe zone is going to be ranging just here in that safe uh, sorry in that strong support zone which we have just talked about means it's going to be ranging for about 100 pips only which is i think really fair enough when we are talking about buying the gold and the target this time is going to be at least the peak of the resistance right here at 1760 exactly right here so the target is going to be about 242 pips meanwhile the safe zone will be ranging for about 122 pips which is also really fair enough so gold is good for the buy at 1736.41 and the target this time will be 1760.75 i need to upload this video very fast so in the end I hope it's going to be a very profitable week for everyone and seems to be so far really good weeks uh, so for everyone hopefully it is so in the end I hope that was informative to you and I would like to thank you for watching